Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Loki and Gaming. We are going to be playing a meditation app here. And I will be honest, this is awfully pretty, but you guys know it's usually pretty hard for me to sit still. So it is pretty, but um, what we can do is I have the guided meditation off, and we can sit here and we can enjoy the sunset. There's a lot of detail, even though I have it on low. You guys know I have an older rig, an older VR headset. If I would turn this up any higher, you would start to see skipping and jumping. So you may have already seen this and seen it looking super detailed and me thinking, hmm, it doesn't look the same. That is why, so. But I thought we could all use the breather and I used to be pretty big into bringing you guys the um, VR meditation. But, you know, um, we, we had to discuss making trade-offs, and I said, you know, really, you know, it could be prettier, but it will be skipping around. And I said, I don't know if they'll, if you guys will like it, if it's, you know, really low graphics, but, you know, it does show you you can have an older computer, and you can still try these newer experiences. Now, as you can see, I can still turn around. I can certainly look up, and I can certainly enjoy things like the birds flying overhead and stuff like that. And what we've been doing today is just trying to re relax and recuperate. It's roughly, well, not quite the middle of December as I make this, but it, it kind of feels like the middle of December. It kind of felt like a good day to, you know, even though we're all running around doing all of our daily chores we have to get to, to kind of just stop for a minute or so and just kind of breathe in. <sighs> and let it out and you know sometimes you have to do this and sometimes taking five minutes for yourself like if we were doing this on our own i would have my cup of coffee and have a straw on it and be sitting here sipping coffee for a straw and, you know watching the sunset it doesn't always have to be all so spiritual it doesn't have to all be you know one with nature you can sometimes just go sit outside for five minutes or if you can't manage outside, sit in VR for five minutes or, you know, pancake version of something like this and just, just relax. It doesn't always have to be spiritual, you know, I think I've turned some people off. They, they get into paganism or Wicca and they try to make everything spiritual and they burn out because it's a little too much of too much. You can just come in here and enjoy it like a normie would, you know? Just enjoy being on the beach and think of digging your toes into the sand and maybe splashing around in the water a little bit or, you know, listening to the birds. A little lizard friend has, you know, shown up, so we're getting a little on into what I think guided meditation would be. So you can do stuff, do stuff like that. You can just, you know, chill for five minutes, you know? And it, it certainly is a pretty title, even though I have it the whole way down. You know, um, I still think it's pretty, and it's, you know, it's worth coming in here and relaxing with you guys. I just had one of those <sighs> super stressful days. And in my own life, I'm transitioning out of rituals that used to be useful to me, and I'm letting them go this year. So that's been a big thing for me, too. And I said, let's make this a new ritual. It doesn't have to be something I do every year. But am I seeing a fish out there? I think I am. I'm seeing a something out there. I said, let's make this into a day of, okay, I've done that ritual for X amount of years. It's no longer serving me. Let's let it go with grace and go do something for me. And I know some people like to keep rituals up even after they stop being useful making them happy but personally I don't oh there are fishies and you know it just felt like time it just felt like time to let go of a ritual that was no longer serving me and you'll know you'll know you'll go from being happy to do it to being kind of mad about it to being you know I can't do this one more year please don't make me when when you feel like that it's time to let a ritual go and then take some time, especially the first year, to nurture yourself. I wish my coffee was on my desk because I would go and have a sip. But, you know, um, it's okay to change things up. Especially if you're feeling stressed out and overwhelmed. You, you don't have to do the same rituals year after year. 
You don't have to, you know, if you don't feel the holidays this year, guys, you don't have to do them. I, I promise you, you don't have to do them. Loki's not going to get mad at you. The gods aren't going to get mad at you. Um, the god you grew up with isn't going to get mad at you. And there's, is there a wizard in that tree too? <laughs> oh, I have the graphics way down. So, you know, you, you, every day doesn't have to look the same. Life doesn't have to be one big complex ritual. As we've just sat here and kind of tried to relax and I've told you about the stresses of my day and maybe you're letting the stresses of your day go. That's that's a beautiful ritual if you can find someone to talk to for five minutes or if you can't, talk to Loki. You know, he's always willing to listen even though he pretends not to. <laughs> I could go back here. And just, you know, do do what you can. There, there are no rewards after this life that I know of for carrying on a ritual or an obligation or something long after it is cease bringing you joy or you're just not feeling either way about it. Once something ceases, starts to be painful, once it starts to be a ritual you don't want to do, whether it's a holiday or it's a religious tradition or something, you're totally allowed to bow out and say, I can't do this anymore. This is no longer for me. I know it's scary the first year, which is why it's good to have a transition thing like this. And it doesn't have to be VR. You could go for a walk. You could play a crossword puzzle. You could watch a YouTube video. You could spend, you know, five more minutes at work. <laughs> Maybe that, that isn't something that would be ideal for some people, but you know what I mean. Instead of just rushing out the door to sit in your chair for a second or wherever you are and just breathe in and let it go and just just be for a second and then you can go you know go home do what do what you got to do but it's okay guys it's okay no there's no ritual carved in stone anywhere that we all have to do there's there's no holiday carved in stone that we all have to do no one way of seeing or interacting with the gods no one group of gods that you have to have or else you do what makes you happy and if that means doing something totally different this year at the holidays or totally letting go of all of your rituals and inventing new ones that bring you joy, then you're totally free to do that. So hopefully this recorded. <laughs> We've been having some recording issues lately. And we really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to take five minutes out of a day that was kind of hectic for me because I'm in the process of letting go of a ritual. And I wanted to come in here to kind of make me time. I also wanted to share it with you guys. So I am giving you the link over to this game. To recap, the graphics are way better than this. I'm kind of running it on a potato. And you can even... Oh, look, plane trail. You can even have a guided meditation on this one. And there is a forest coming. I'm not sure if that will be free as well or that will be a paid DLC, but that seems to be coming in the future. So we really hope you guys have enjoyed the time together. This is... Oh, this is a treat. This is just as good as getting to go on a beach vacation. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.